Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and I am super excited. Welcome to the first year anniversary of Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. It is almost hard to believe that it's been an entire year already of this game, but I'm extremely excited. Today's video is going to be a banner review and pulls. <laughs> and, oh, I have so much anxiety because if you followed any of my pulls throughout, you know, this game, you would know that my pulls are a roller coaster. It's either like I wouldn't say necessarily insane luck, but pretty damn good luck or bottom of the barrel. Uh, that's how it's been every single time. My last couple of banners did not go that well. So I'm really, really hoping that this one does, especially because there's also a small chance that you can get Sephiroth ultimate weapon. And that is a really big deal. Uh, before we get started into that, I do want to acknowledge that they have dropped a lot of stuff on us all at once. And so looking through the notices, you can see there's almost an entire page of new notices. Most of these are deserving of their own video, because if I tried to include some of this, which I've already started, you know, trying to work on it, um, it, it would just make this video take forever. So one of the next videos I really want to get out is covering ultimate weapons, which ones I think you should pick, uh, the voucher system, which ones of those I think you should pick. But it would just take way too much time to kind of do all that at once. And I really just can't wait any longer to do these pulls. So. Without further ado, just acknowledging all of that, I will get into my uh, review and then we'll do some pulls. What do we have? Um, the first thing we have is Cloud's outfit, Bahamut garb. And I think this looks really cool. It's, you know, very stylistic and some of those, you know, separate people, but I, I think it looks cool. Ultimately, we think that there should be four of these garbs. It should be Cloud, Yuffie, Tifa and Aerith, and I believe that it is likely, or at least the rumor mill says, it is very likely it will be in that order. So I would expect Yuffie to be next, followed by Tifa, followed by Aerith. If that helps you figure out how you want to conserve crystals, there you go. Okay, so what does this do? First, boost attack all allies, which I think is solid, um, because we already have boost physical and boost magical. So it gives level two which is all allies physical attack plus 10 and plus 5% and the same with magical attack. I think that is already very good. We've seen that on weapons. We have not seen that uh, that I can think of anything like this on gear. So very, very strong to have that on gear. Hamid's bite physical attack plus 5%, which is, you know, about the same as like a decent attack materia, right? A lot of the ones we're trying to equip are probably 6% higher. Or higher, but 5% is pretty damn good, especially when it also gives physical ability potency plus 10%. Uh, so all of that in one garb. I think that makes this a must go for if you play Cloud, and I'll kind of get into it a little bit more in a minute, but I do plan uh, to go for his costume. Uh, and again, I do think it looks really, really good. And I think the weapon combos with it real nicely. Uh, as far as the aesthetics go. The Bahamut Great Sword is his weapon. And this is another like kind of uncharted territory for us in this game because it's got a little bit lower of a percentage than what we would expect for a weapon with power creep being what it is. However, it has some well, from a damage perspective alone, it has a flat damage added to it as long as your HP is 50% or more, which typically 50% or, or more is very easy to maintain. 70% can sometimes be a little squirrely. So when I see 50%, I think this is going to be happening the majority of the time. It also hits all enemies, which although it's not always needed, it, it definitely is pretty clutch when it is. And you never know what the content's gonna be like coming forward. So I, I don't mind this being all enemies. Then on top of that, there's a haste effect, and it's not like Kate's, which is broken when it happens, but it only has a 20% chance. No, Clouds is just every time, right? It, he just applies haste to himself for 20 seconds, and that's that's at five star. Also at five star, we see boost physical attack, all allies, carrying over from what we saw at the six month anniversary, and plus 30 points is solid. Boost physical ability plus 12, and then 
I like that they've kind of redone this here. So now uh, you can just see the support abilities down here and Circle Sigil Boost, which is something I would expect to happen. So this is what we have at five star. Now, Tom Rom made us another card so we can see what the weapon would look like at OB1. And this is what we have. So essentially you can see, uh, and again, this is at level 110. So some of these stats down here for the R abilities are going to look a little bit different, but 27 to 29, 12 to 15, you get a nice boost on both R abilities for taking it to OB1. The physical damage goes from 430% to 520%, increase of 90%. Um, the haste remains the same, but the additional damage doubles from 10,000 to 20,000 additional damage. I think that, that is really big, and for that reason alone, I would highly encourage anyone that's going to pull for this weapon whatsoever, and yes, I do think that this is a weapon that's worth pulling for, to go to OB1. Um, I don't, especially if you're conserving crystals or you're free to play or whatever your situation may be, but if you're limited on resources, I would still recommend highly that you take it to OB1 in one way or another because 90% uh, extra physical damage on the initial part of the C ability and then doubling the damage from 10 to 20,000, that feels really good. And so highly recommended on that. As we take it to OB6, you can see that it goes up to 670%, which is only 150% more and you need five additional copies from OB1. And the damage goes up another 10,000. So what you're seeing here basically is that the value in going from five star to OB1 is insane. And while the weapon does get stronger, uh, and you could even say significantly stronger from OB1 to OB6, you also get an additional five seconds of haste. It's not like, it's not even close to the difference you get from five star to OB1 considering needing one extra weapon versus needing five, right? Because you need five more from one to six. And then it will be 10, 800% and 40,000 damage. So I believe that, you know, I haven't been able to do any testing. Uh, by the way, you also get a full 30 seconds of haste duration at OB10, which is five seconds more than OB6. I haven't been able to test it, but based on kind of, you know, damage that I do with like guide gloves at 1140% or whatever it is, I think 800% plus 40,000 is going to be a significant difference in damage. Also, as we've seen in the past, when you have a boost physical attack all allies, because it gets its sep a separate slot in an R ability, it's not something that just is combining with regular physical attack. It's a separate thing that stacks on top of that. Because of that, we've seen uh, people like Glenn be able to hit insane amounts of damage just because of getting an, an insane physical attack stat. And so that also has to be factored in when you're evaluating how good this weapon is, how much damage it will do, etc. So this is my overall review of Cloud. Uh, I think that both of these are fantastic. I think they are both definitely worth pulling for, and I, I plan to very much so. Now, to look at Sephiroth's weapon... <laughs> It's not, I think they should have put something that made it a little bit easier to find. If anybody knows of something, feel free to let me know. But the only way that I can think to find this is to go to exchange, go down here to the Mako gem exchange. And then in here, you can see what these, these little Mako gems can be used for. This is essentially a pity system. You get 10 of these every time you do a premium 10 draw, like we're gonna do on this banner. Uh, but this is Genji Blade, and again, it is an ultimate weapon, so you don't have to OB it. You just need to take it up to level 120, and this is what it looks like. So we have two charges, which seems considerably good. The initial one only takes 20 seconds to come online, and then 60 every 60 seconds thereafter, you would build another charge up to you know a maximum of two uses. It deals 2,000% physical magical non-elemental damage to a single enemy and if you think about it that's kind of like what the summons do right 
it actually combines both of those stats, which means it's going to do considerably more damage, and it's 2,000% based on that. Also, physical attack is increased extra high, that's four tiers, 30 seconds, and an extension of 30 seconds. So if for any reason you use this twice in a row, you are not losing out on uh, any of the extra duration. It also increases magic attack extra high, again, four tiers, 30 seconds. Very, very, very strong C ability. Well, I guess it's actually a UC ability, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, it also has boost ability, potency 20, and a new R ability called Interruption Mastery. And although I haven't been able to test this out, what I believe this does is when, during the interrupt phase, like if you break sigils for an enemy, he goes into that interrupt, and then you have, you know, you have extra ATB charge and all that, you're getting 60% more ability potency during that phase. Seems pretty strong. I like it quite a bit. So this is the Sephiroth weapon. The drop rate on that, though, is quite low. If you look at details and odds, you can see here. To get an ultimate weapon, you have a 0.3% chance. 0.3%. So we're used to five stars appear at a 7.5% chance. This is less than half of a percent. And that, it seems to be, uh, with boosted odds... I'm not 100% sure if that's just because there's only one on this banner. That's what I lean towards. But either way, that's what we've got. You have an increased chance, though, to get Hama Greatsword with Cloud because it is the only feature weapon on the banner. So that is good in a lot of ways. Looking over at the stamp card, uh, you can see you've got a guaranteed five star in the fourth slot, guaranteed event weapon in the sixth, costume in the twelfth, which is standard. Page two has three more guaranteed copies of Cloud's weapon. And then after page two, you're, you're on a standard, uh, you know, EX page with nothing guaranteed. So my advice, a couple of things, I guess. I would not advise pulling past page two if you're not a whale. Uh, the value drops off pretty significantly. If you are somebody who has red crystals, I would also recommend not pulling for this until you've cleared through two pages because the only difference between pulling here and pulling on the stamp card is that you're guaranteed at least one five-star weapon and when you look at this because you are guaranteed a five-star weapon you have just under a 20 percent chance that that would be cloud's weapon um, other than that though you're missing out on stamps so i would not recommend pulling for this until you've at least cleared two pages because you'd rather get to those guaranteed weapons anyway. Uh, the only other thing I want to look at briefly before we go in is anybody thinking about playing or paying, sorry. I bought two packs. I had 25,000 uh, red crystals saved up. I've been saving them from everything I've purchased. Uh, I bought one of these 2,000 packs for 10 pulls and one 5,000 pack for 20 pulls. I wasn't really um, super keen on, on this one, but... I didn't know if I was going to get another better chance to spend my red crystals because these packs, they're not that great. I'm not very impressed with them, especially from an anniversary perspective. I mean, it's okay. It's not in the end of the world by any means. I just don't feel like there's near the value I would expect for an anniversary. And in fact, I think there's less value than what we normally see out of packs uh, with a banner. For example, this one here still only gives 10, 10 stamina tonics is whatever. 2,500, I mean, it's a discount. If you're not whaling though, I, I just don't know if I see it. Um, looking at some of these other packs, like even this one here. If this would have been 200 weapon, um, you know, non-specific weapon parts, instead of 150 with 70 memories that almost nobody cares about. Like, I don't want to pay for memories. I would think this pack would be considerably better if this were 200. Um, as it stands, though, I just none of these really scream to me that they're that great. If you did have the crystals, I think 3,000 for a guaranteed five star, 20, you know, purples and 100 is not bad. But again, that's not actually money. You know, something like this is, and I just man, 3,200 doesn't seem amazing to me. Uh, and then here, this is even worse <laughs> because. 
it costs twice as much as this one, but you, and you, while you get more crystals, technically you get less reds, like, because this should be 6,400. So they've actually said, we'll give you an extra 400 blues for taking away 200 reds. Um, that just doesn't seem great to me. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about spending. And again, or always, don't, don't spend irresponsibly. If you can't afford it, don't spend. And if you can, only spend what you can afford. It's a big deal. Okay. Now we've come to the part that I've been waiting for. I wanted to do this last night, but I just, you know, I was really tired. I didn't have the energy, so I waited till this morning. I guess really quickly, I should go over my wish list for anybody who cares. Um, this is what we're looking at. Um, tier 1s are in the one slot here. We have Blue Bramble. Uh, Earth is a huge weakness for me. So this would be a decent way to shore it up. Um, I'm still trying to get Shell Knuckles at the moment. I only have these at like OB2, and I really want them at minimum OB6. Uh, then we have two of Red's weapons, Ivy Collar and Silver Collar, and that is because they're both double breaches. I want them at OB6 to get that high potency. I can tell you I considered swapping one of those out for Tempest, which is Sephiroth's Ice Breach weapon, or sorry, Water Breach weapon. It's a physical water weapon with Water Breach. However, I already have Red doing that, and so I it, too much, too difficult for me to figure out at the moment how I would fit Sephiroth into that team, so I just didn't go for that. The reason I had Ice on my mind is the last one is Citric Wand. I think that this has a lot of value because it increases ice damage, and that's one of the things that I just don't have for ice teams. My ice teams are already quite strong. I think this is going to push them over the top. I think it's a great weapon. So as quickly as I could, that is the wish list that I'm currently going for. Now we're going to do the pulls. So I do have 30 tickets that I purchased. I guess we will obviously get those out of the way first. We don't have another choice. And it begins. Stamps would be a big deal here because of all the guaranteed copies. I can tell you my original plan is to just pull for the costume here. But it really depends how many of the weapon I hit. Because if I think that I'm getting close to like OB6 somehow, some way, I would be willing to go a little further. I also do want to take it to at least OB1. Didn't even hit the Citric Wand. That hurts a little bit, but it's okay. There we go, big six stamp. Uh, very, very excited about that. That's gonna be the guaranteed weapon and maybe, maybe just a prediction of how this luck is gonna go on this banner. Yes, all right. So we knew we were getting the weapon. Um, would be really, really cool if I got two of them. All right, we are starting off amazing. This is only the second pull. I've got two copies of the weapon and I've already cleared over half of a stamp card. Uh, couldn't be more thrilled with that. Uh, looking at this here again, I, I mean, I'm not saying that it's not a discount, but it's not something that I really want to spend like red crystals that I've been saving for like four months for. Okay, we're going to continue on. Also, man, it would be really cool if we could get that Sephiroth weapon. I don't expect to hit it because the drop chance is so low, but that would that would just make my little day. Sephiroth. Oh, shit! I, no, it could be... I don't have the Earth weapon, so I don't think... I don't think it's the... Yeah, okay. This is still fine, but for a moment, I don't know if there's a special animation. Uh, I would imagine there would be for the ultimate weapon. I haven't seen it, though, so I, I was getting a little bit ahead of myself. But I'm still happy to have a copy of that. I think that is a, a solid weapon, and one that I for sure need. <clears throat> Now, this would be something that I would... No, I mean, it's one copy. Probably not. All right, we're going to continue on here. We know that we're going through at least the first page. That's kind of what I told myself. And then 
I, the plan was I'll come back after I've seen all the banners and decide which ones, if I have crystals left at that time, to go back for. Well, that's the plan. Miss on that one. Not not too unexpected there. All right, something other than a one stamp. Still doing amazing though because of that six stamp. That was one of the most clutch things that could have happened for me. All right, I would hope this is Citric Wand. Looks like it should be. Very happy about that. This should round out the stamp card regardless of what I get here, because I think I'm one stamp away. Of course, I'm notoriously bad for not recognizing that. Or misrecognizing it. <laughs> I'm going to watch this animation. I am guaranteed to get the costume, but man, I would like to pick up at least one more of these weapons before the end of the page. I have enough for Obi Wan at the moment, which is, I guess I have to acknowledge that is enough that I would have been happy. Yes. I wonder if it, you know what, I also don't know if it does that just for the garb. I hope not. I think I think it should give me at least a five star weapon. Or two. Tifa in red, okay. Shell Knuckles. That sweet outfit. Silver collar, okay. Solid on that. Very, very uh, happy about that. Could have gotten a little bit more cloud weapons, but honestly, I've had to do so f few of pulls to clear that card that, I mean, kind of makes it, you know, I don't even know. I think I did five pulls. Five pulls to clear that card. And now the, the hard decision, because I only said I was going to do that and conserve crystals because we do have Tifa and Aerith coming up. I'm going to keep going just a little bit more. I'm going to I'm going to do a couple pulls. I'm going to see how the stamps go and if I don't get anything good stamp wise or pull wise, then I'm going to uh I'm going to cut it off and I'll have to just wait again. One is not the number that I was looking for. Another red, okay. Um, I mean, that's that's fine. Seems to be hard to pick up these uh, cloud weapons. Or the luck is not left me yet. All right, now I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna find myself end up clearing two pages just out of. I, I just excitement, I guess, is really the best way to put it. Cloud? Oh, I think this was the guarantee. So this makes sense. We're gonna keep pulling. I feel like I feel like the luck is still uh is still with me. One kinda to be expected. This is a five star uh, guaranteed, and again, I should have about a 20% chance of hitting Cloud's weapon here. There's the Cloud. No. Oh man, what a miss. What a miss. Mithril Saber. <laughs> Uh, getting a lot of these, though, I actually it might be getting to a point where I need to give me just a second. I'm going to check where I am with Ivy Collar. All right. So I've checked Ivy Collar. It turns out I, I'm at OB5. So one more copy of that would be where I would like to be. 
So I'm going to keep pulling because I'm still at six stamps on the second card. I think if you've gone this far, I, I might as well finish out the second card. So that's kind of what I plan to do and just hope that I get enough cloud weapons to maybe get this really close to OB6. I think if I got it to OB5, I would be fine with weapon parting it to OB6. I think right now I have a little over a hundred of Cloud's weapon parts. Okay. God, Sky Splitter. I have that at OB10. So I would say my luck on getting Cloud, considering if Cloud drops, should be a 20% chance or something like that. Uh, I guess. Holy crap! Okay, okay. Wow. So, um, I don't really think that I can say my luck has been bad for the actual five-star rate, because I've been getting five stars on a lot of these pulls. Just not the, like, basically just not Cloud's weapon. But God, my stamp luck has been truly, truly amazing. A six and a five within two pages just hopefully. <laughs> okay, there's three cloud weapons. I think two of those, two of those are guaranteed. And there's a Sephiroth. This could be like the biggest pull I've ever had. Um, I'm a little bit hesitant to actually see what it is. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, let, let me take a look at this really quick. So, I, I I know that we didn't get the Sephiroth weapon that we wanted. We got Blue Bramble, which is OB1, and and that's that's perfectly fine. We did we did get like all Bob great swords for Cloud. Wow. That's that's really really great. Um I'm uh I still have 40,000 blue crystals left. I started with just under 70, like 68-ish. 67, I guess. So I probably did 12 pulls. Does that sound right? I don't know. I'm sure somebody will be able to see and tell me in the comments. But I think I did 12 pulls to clear six pages. Or six, two pages. I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm pretty ecstatic about the end of that. That, that makes me feel glad that I kept going. Couldn't be happier about that. I will have to kind of see where I'm at. Um, because I think I am at OB5. And so um, I do have 18,000 red crystals left. I could like pick up a guaranteed copy of his weapon for five. Or I could try to gamble a little bit and try to save two. I don't know. I'll have to make that decision later. However, uh, that I think that was an amazing pull session for me. Uh, didn't get Sephiroth's weapon, but I think that that will be around throughout each one of these banners i don't know but i think so i hope that if you guys pull or when you pull because i'm betting most of you will that your pulls go amazing i hope you get some six and some five stamps i hope that you get what you want subscribe for future content if you're not already if you are i appreciate each and every one of your support happy first anniversary thank you for watching